Hey there, it's Rachel Mullins, the host of Hashtag No Filter Fridays on Public House Media. Hello, Juice Rise. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. Oh my goodness. I just came inside from playing ball with my dog and I've been listening to a new book called The Miracle Equation with Hal Elrod. And I just have to share this with you. So um, this can be much later by the time you actually listen to this in podcast form. However, I need to get this word out. I need to get this message to you because it is so important. It's called the miracle equation. And if you've not read his previous book, um, the miracle morning, you should, um, it's a very simple read. It's a very easy practice to put into place. It's something that I've been using myself for a very long time and has, um, really just transformed my morning, but regardless of when you do it, whether it's right away in the morning or it's a little bit later in the day, or maybe it's the end of the day before you go to bed, it's a routine. It's a practice. It's something that you do in order to find success in your life. And this miracle equation is really just faith, unwavering faith, and extraordinary effort. When you put unwavering faith and extraordinary effort together, you create miracles. Miracles in your life, miracles in the lives around you, miracles in the, in the universe. That's how miracles are created. And when I really think about it, like... The way he's talking about it, he's like not talking about in a faith way. He's just talking about it in like a, in a miracle creating way, like creating a lifestyle of, of something that you want. And I was like, yes, like, why are we not all doing this? Having unwavering faith in who you are, who God made you to be, who he wants you to live this life as to be and to how he's created you. Unwavering faith in doing the desires of the hearts that he's put inside of you. And putting extraordinary effort alongside it, putting those two things together and creating the miracles in your life. They're only miracles. They're only these unforeseen things because not everyone does them, right? The mundane things are mundane because we all do them, because we all take part in them. We all believe we can achieve them. So they're just regular everyday things. But we see these huge, like, achievements, these big audacious things that just feel, seem like they fall out of nowhere, but really it's unwavering faith that they were going to happen and extraordinary effort put alongside them, whether that's effort of yours or it's effort of God's it's, it's putting the effort and the belief together that make the miracle. And then I was thinking about earlier in the week, I was listening to, um, a podcast and he was talking about Steve Harvey was talking about, um, God only delivers on faith street. God only delivers on faith street. So if like you were ordering a Christmas package and you needed it to be here on time um, and you moved over to doubt street, but you had it delivered to faith street, like, would you get the package? No, you wouldn't because you'd be over on doubt street. You'd be over on fear street. You'd be over on, I don't understand if this is really going to be happening street. Anytime you take yourself off of faith street, you are not in the space to get delivered. The miracle, the thing that you've been asking for, the thing that you've been wanting to happen, the thing that, that, that God put inside of you, the, the timeliness of things are always on him. 1000% they are always on him. And if you leave faith street, you let go of that unwavering faith, you will not get the package delivered to you. You will not get the, the miracle happening in your life. And then I think about my friend, Laura Odding, when she talks about you are limitless you are 1000% limitless in the fact that you can achieve anything that you put your mind to, anything that you believe to be possible, that unwavering faith in yourself to achieve the level of success that you deem worthy. She talks all the time about how success is not anyone else's definition, but it's the definition that you have in your heart and mind about what you find successful. And when I really think about that, like in a faith sense, right? God puts things on our hearts, individually in our hearts, that are aligned to who he created us for in this mission of life, why we are here on this earth, what our purpose is here in the grand scheme of things. 
in the tapestry of life, we each have our own thread that is woven through the tapestry. We each have our own purpose to teach, to share, to serve, to love the people around us in this world in the, that we're here a part of here in this tapestry. Um, and it's it's amazing that each one of us has a purpose. Each one of us has this thing, this place inside of us. And that, those are the desires of our heart. God puts those there for us, but it's up to us to have the unwavering faith in him, unwavering faith in ourselves, the one that he created, the most perfect thing in the world. The unwavering faith matched with extraordinary effort, whether it's our effort or his effort, that's going to create this amazing miracle that's in your life. You can have all of these miracles. And if you're thinking, Kim, you're crazy. Um, this isn't true. This is not going to work out. You have been one of those people that have fallen off the, the faith street and you are over in doubt and fear and this isn't going to happen. When you, you think about the people that, that don't help you push for your goals, when you think about the people that um, tell you, oh, it's okay, you gave it a good shot. When you think about the people that um, are, are not encouraging you to be your authentic self, but trying to kind of channel you into their own limiting beliefs, those are the people that have fallen off. Those are the people that don't have the faith, or those are the people that are not putting forth effort in order to get to where they want to go. I want to share this with you today. I needed to just come in the house, get right here to my computer and share this with you because it is such a powerful and an amazing message that we all can achieve, that we all need to hear, that we all need to just put two things together, two things together, unwavering faith that it's going to happen and extraordinary effort to make it happen. In my personal experience, a lot of times, you know, we have um, things that just come along. Like when I first started my coaching journey, I didn't have a lot of faith in myself. Okay. I was 35 pounds heavier. I was exhausted all the time. I did not think I had the energy or the time or the capacity to think about doing anything different in life. I was just running the race that I thought I was supposed to be running. And then then I saw a friend who said, hey, there's a different way of doing things. And she showed me how I could do something different. And then I started to have a little bit more faith in me because she had faith in me. And I started putting effort towards something. And little by little, my more that I believed in myself, the more faith I had in myself to achieve this, a healthier lifestyle, the more effort I put into doing it, the more I started to achieve those things. And that sounds like super simple, right? But it's it's how you apply it. You apply the faith, you apply the effort, and the results are the things that you're wanting to achieve. Then when I started to create my business, I started helping more people. I started helping other people do what I was doing, adding some faith to their life, adding some faith in themselves, adding some effort, giving them the tools, the resources, the encouragement, the support in order to put those two things together. And they started doing it too. And then we started creating this movement and we started, we created a, an income for myself and, and for the people around me that I was able to leave my full-time school administrator job. And I, I, it was in, it was amazing and it was exciting. And it was, I had tons of faith in myself that I was going to be able to just keep going and keep achieving. And then I added more effort and I was just continuing to go. And pretty soon I got to the point where I could say yes. And I moved, I got, I left my school, my full-time job. I started this doing this full-time and then that faith, that faith wavering, my faith started to waver a little bit. I lost a little faith in myself. I had some, uh, some, some circumstances happened in my team that were, weren't necessarily aligned to where I was going. Not everyone went with me. And so uh, my faith started to wane a little bit in myself. My effort started to kind of go up and down. They weren't matching to and fro. They were kind of one was up or one was down. And so it was just a matter of when I got the, the engine going again. And when you start to achieve the things that you want to achieve, my second year of being home, I, I hit another really big goal in the business. And it was really because I was I was using the mantra of, I believe this, I believe this, I believe this, I believe this. I had unwavering faith that we were going to achieve this. And I gave the most extraordinary effort of my entire life in that last month and a half, because if I was going to achieve this goal, I had to give massive amounts of effort in order to achieve it. But I also had to have the belief and the faith that it was going to happen. 
And so every single day on my walk with my dog, I would talk about this to myself. I would, you know, use my mantra. I believe this is going to happen. We are going to do this as a team. It's going to happen. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. And I came home and I continued to put in tons of effort. And you know what? We hit it. We hit that huge goal. And it really just came down to the fact that I needed to have unwavering faith. I need to put extraordinary effort. If you are doing things in life that you are not achieving the things that you want to achieve in life, you have to really look and examine in your life. Do you believe it is true? Do you have unwavering faith that you can achieve this, that it's going to happen for you no matter what? Do you have, are you putting forth the effort in your own life? In your, are you putting, are you, are you praying about it? Are you, are you putting forth the effort that you need to do in order to achieve it? If you're wanting to lose weight, are you, are you putting in the effort in the gym? Are you wanting to lose weight? Are you changing your eating habits? Are you changing your mindset around things? I was listening to, I was on a call this morning with my team and we were talking about how you can't outwork a bad mindset. You can't outwork a bad mindset. And that's, that's 1000% realigns with this. You can't outwork a bad mindset. If you are have unwavering faith, your mindset is there. You believe it to be true. If you are working hard and you have unwavering belief, unwavering faith, miracles are going to happen in your life. Thank you so much for listening, friend. I know this is random and spur of the moment and kind of crazy. And maybe you think it's just out there, right? But I want to encourage you to really dig deep and think about what are the things that you could achieve yet here in this, this year, um, or we're probably listening to this, this is 2021 already. And I want you to think about what can you achieve in 2021 that is going to match your unwavering faith that you believe it to be true. And that it's going to happen for you match with your effort because Your success is defined by you and what you want to achieve and what the things, the desires of the heart that God's placed in your heart, in your mind, for you individually, your purpose in this earth. And where can you put your effort today? Where can you put your effort this month? Where can you put your effort this quarter, this year, in order to achieve the things that God's put there for you? I hope and pray that it is is amazing things for you. I hope and pray that you put this into action, that you increase your faith, that you have unwavering faith that life is going to turn out the way it's supposed to for you. And I pray and that you put amazing effort, extraordinary effort towards that faith and that everything works out the way it's supposed to, as it will. If you put unwavering faith and extraordinary effort together, your miracle equation right there at your fingertips, it's just a matter of putting it into action. Thanks so much for joining me today. I so appreciate you pushing play. And if you've not yet done so, please hit subscribe. Please tell your friends about Choose to Rise. It's super simple to do. Leaving us a rating review on Apple Podcasts helps so much. And I am just feel so blessed that you are here today and that you listened in and that you hear my excitement in this. And I um, keep watching Choose to Rise, friends, because we have some really big things planned this year. I've done my dream board. I've done my vision board. I've got big goals myself. And I have that faith that is just growing and growing and growing. I'm going to match my effort to it. And we're going to achieve really big things this year. We are going to achieve really big things this year. Are you wanting to go with us? Be a part of Choose to Rise. Be a part of the Team Rise and Fit. Be a part of this movement going forward. And whatever your goals are this year, I hope that you have unwavering faith that they're going to happen and that you put extraordinary effort to go along with them and um, be a part of something amazing this year. Have a great day, everyone. See you back here again next time.